Welcome to session two. You'll soon be exploring deep physical relaxation and the concept of expanded awareness. And this session includes exercises to teach you how to perceive vivid impressions in the altered state of consciousness explorations coming later in the program. Subjective explorations require that you trust yourself, trust your thoughts and feelings, and most important, your visualizations. Your subconscious mind is a visual consciousness, so developing your ability to visualize is important for both attaining awareness and for programming. Examples of subjective exploration include past life regression, future projection, remote viewing, or obtaining awareness in higher self. Mind programming would be visualizing a goal such as losing weight, developing a new ability, or healing yourself. This kind of subjective programming can also be used to focus your energy upon something you desire to manifest, such as a relationship, a promotion, or success in business. So now... It's time to induce an altered state of consciousness. Please listen to this session only where it's appropriate to relax and close your eyes, for the sounds and induction will put you into a drowsy state of mind. So to begin, make yourself comfortable. You can sit down or lie down, but you don't want to fall asleep. Unplug the telephone and do what you can to block any interruptions while in an altered state. If you should be interrupted, you can always count yourself awake by counting up from one to five and saying the words, Wide Awake, just as I will do at the end of the session. Few people actually recognize an altered state of consciousness. They feel as if they could open their eyes at any time, which in most cases they could. But if you feel relaxed when the countdown is complete, you'll be in an altered state. And each time you do a session, you'll go a little deeper until after a couple of weeks of working with these techniques, you'll attain your natural level. Now, once you're comfortable, close your eyes and begin to do some deep breathing. This is a matter of taking a very deep breath and holding it as long as you comfortably can. Then, let the breath out slowly through slightly parted lips. And when you think the breath is all the way out, contract your stomach muscles and push it even further out and further out. Then repeat the process. This is diaphragm breathing, and any time you feel stressed, a few minutes of this breathing will calm you down. It's also an ideal preparation for each altered state session in this program. So go ahead, slow down your thoughts, and breathe deeply while releasing all the tension in your body. And now, I'm going to relax your body one part at a time. And as I direct the relaxing power into each area of your body, feel it relaxing. Actually send a mental command to each portion of your body telling it to relax. And now, imagine the relaxing sensations entering both of your feet at the same time. Now feel your feet relaxing. And the relaxation spreads on up into your lower legs. Relaxing your lower legs. And on up into your upper legs. Expanding into your thighs and into your hips. Permeating every cell and every atom. And your full attention is on the sound of my voice and relaxing your body as the relaxing sensations move on down into the fingers of both of your hands relaxing your hands 
and on up into your forearms, relaxing your forearms, and on up into your upper arms, just completely relaxing your upper arms. And now feel the relaxing sensations move on down into the base of your spine. And then slowly up your spine and into the back of your neck and shoulder muscles. And the back of your neck and shoulder muscles are just completely relaxed. And the relaxing sensations now move on up the back of your neck into your scalp. And they drain down into your facial muscles, completely relaxing your facial muscles. And your jaws relax. Allow a little space between your teeth. And your throat is relaxed. Your entire body is now relaxed all over in every way. And all tension is gone from your body and mind, and you're ready to explore mental perception, which is a matter of combining visualization with the physical senses and an emotional response. You'll better understand once you've completed a series of exercises. So let's begin by having you imagine, as best you can, the taste of some specific food. And we'll start with the sensation of placing a peppermint in your mouth and experiencing that initial flavor explosion. Now you have a memory of this taste. Imagine peppermint. Okay, now. Imagine biting into a crisp apple picked right off the tree. Feel the apple in your hand. Capture the experience of taking the bite, and then sense the flavor of the apple. Good. And now. Imagine the taste of tart lemonade. The glass is filled with ice cubes and freshly made lemonade. You raise the glass to your lips and take a drink. Mentally capture the experience. Let's move on to the physical sense of touch, and we'll begin by capturing the sensation of rain falling upon your skin. Imagine the feeling of the rain hitting your skin and then rolling off your body. Now imagine what it feels like to catch and then toss a ball. Draw upon your memories and experience the sensations of catching and tossing a ball. All right. Now. Imagine the feeling of holding a small puppy that is trying to squirm out of your hands. Okay. Let's move on to the physical sense of smell. We'll begin by having you imagine walking into a bakery. Mentally capture the smell. Of fresh baked bread. Good. Now imagine the enticing aroma of freshly brewed coffee. 
Perceive the coffee steaming in a cup, which you pick up and move to your lips. Capture the unique scent. Imagine the fresh dew on the grass. It's a warm summer morning. You're up early, and your world is damp with dew. Okay. Now, let's move on and explore your sense of sound. We'll begin by having you vividly imagine the sound of traffic and a honking car horn. And now, mentally capture the sound of fire snapping and crackling, and imagine watching the leaping flames and feeling the warmth. Capture the sound of someone you care about laughing. Vividly perceive their laughter. Okay, it's now time to visualize, combining what you see with your inner eyes with other senses. And we'll begin by having you imagine yourself walking up to the front door of your home or apartment. Perceive everything in the surrounding area. Then feel yourself taking out your keys. You may even hear them rattling. Insert your house key in the door. Open it and step inside. What do you see? Perceive everything, and now go on into your living room and sit down in your favorite place. Perceive the feeling of sitting down. What do you hear? And now look around the living room and carefully observe all the furnishings and decor. See how easy it is. You've been perceiving images through the blackness of your closed eyes. This is how you'll perceive awareness in the altered state sessions in this program. But now, let's put this all together by mentally combining your internal sense of sight, smell, sound, taste, and touch. To do this, I'm going to describe a situation. And you will build it in your mind. So vividly imagine yourself at the beach on a sunny July afternoon. Now you've already changed into your bathing suit, and you now walk across the warm sand in the direction of the water. Feel the sand give way beneath your feet, and experience the warmth. Breeze is blowing in off the sea, and it feels good on your skin as you spread out a blanket and sit down upon it. Sense the feeling of your bottom on the warm sand. Vividly perceive the ocean and hear the waves lapping at the shoreline. Smell the salt sea air. A group of children are playing off to your left. Hear their happy voices and watch them run in and out of the surf. 
And as you make yourself comfortable, you decide to apply suntan lotion to your arms and legs. So mentally capture the feeling of the cool lotion on your warm skin. And sense the smell of coconut oil. Suntan lotion smells like summer. And you now take your favorite drink out of your beach bag and you open it. And savor the taste as you drink. And now, for a few moments, totally focus upon this beach experience. Maybe a friend or a loved one is there with you. Experience every sight, sound, smell, taste, and touch, including the feeling of sweat rolling down your skin. Then, expand the experience by plunging into the sea where you feel the waves cascading over your body. Create this sensation with the unlimited power of your mind. It's now time to experience an emotional response to being at the beach. How do you feel about being here? Capture an emotional response to the situation. Perceiving a situation visually combined with smell, sound, taste, and touch, plus an emotional response. The more you work with this kind of subjective perception, the better you'll get at combining all the elements at once, automatically. And thus, the more real the impressions will be. When you tap into a past life, you'll want to perceive the images as fully as possible. Or, when you mentally program a goal, the more real your visualization, the more likely your subconscious mind will accept it and help to align your inner vision with your outer reality. All right, now, let's take this a little further by having you recall events from your past. And in each case, the idea is to visualize the situation as vividly as you can while also bringing in the other physical senses and an emotional response. Accept the very first memory that jumps into your mind. And let's start with an event from your childhood. Something happened to you as a child, and you now vividly remember the event. in high school. Okay. Now, can you recall your first kiss? Remember a time you did something you shouldn't have done, and capture the emotions that accompanied the experience.
Okay. Now, if you haven't yet forgiven yourself for your actions, maybe it's time you did. Go ahead and forgive yourself. And now, vividly recall a proud moment in your life. Go ahead and acknowledge yourself for what you accomplished. Okay. Let's explore the potential of mind programming by having you create a mental movie. Vividly imagine something you want to happen as if it has already happened. Now this can be anything you're looking forward to or hoping might happen, but it shouldn't manipulate anyone else in any way. Make this mental movie real. You're the writer, director, producer, and star. Imagine what you'd like to happen in the future. Do this visualization while I'm quiet for a while. And you've just been programming your future. Something you may want to do regularly in your higher self sanctuary. Which you'll be creating in the next session. Your subconscious mind cannot tell the difference between fantasy and reality. It simply accepts your input. Powerful visualizations will program your subconscious just as effectively as if you had actually accomplished what you imagined. As an example, if you supply enough success programming to generate new subconscious success beliefs, this portion of your mind will go to work subtly helping you to obtain that success. In other words, your subconscious creates circumstances to align your inner programming and your outer reality. To create the reality you desire to live, you must also establish clarity of intent. In other words, you must know exactly what you want, with no indecisiveness whatsoever, and then work to manifest it with actions and programming. All right, now, now that you're visualizing, let's create some images that you'll use to obtain subjective results in the sessions that follow. First, you'll need to create a portal, which you will use to transcend the limits of time and space. A portal through which you will ascend up into higher self, or back in time to explore your past lives, or forward into the future to explore what is to come. This portal will also be the gate through which you'll conduct remote viewing sessions. So imagine a portal to transcend the limits of time and space, and place it upon a mountaintop. Create this image in vivid detail with the unlimited power of your mind. This portal can be constructed of gleaming stainless steel, or it can be like a cave you enter to begin your journeys. Maybe you'd prefer your portal to appear as wavy energy fluctuations in the air, or as a sci-fi stargate device. However you create the portal, Place it upon a mountaintop overlooking a lush, fertile valley far, far below. So go ahead and create these images now. And as you stare into the entrance of the portal, you get the feeling of a tunnel that extends into infinity. In future sessions, when you desire to step through the portal, 
you will relax your body down in the valley. Then ascend the mountain in the transport device that you now notice off to your left. Now you can imagine this device as a cable car, a lift, a futuristic transporter, or anything else that appeals to you. So go ahead. Take a few moments to visualize this transport vehicle. And it's now time to visualize the gatekeeper who has taken their place at the portal entrance. The gatekeeper can be a woman, maybe an angelic presence, or a feminine representation of the goddess. Or the gatekeeper can be a man, maybe a white-haired, kindly old man, or a young warrior. Or your gatekeeper can be a nature spirit, a fairy, an animal, whatever works for you. Take a few moments to create your own gatekeeper who will work with you on each of the sessions that will follow. So go ahead now, all on your own. Walk around. Create and explore the portal, the mountaintop surroundings, and the transport vehicle that will carry you from the valley floor up the mountain to the portal. And see if others are also sharing the mountaintop. Go ahead and explore on your own. And in the sessions that follow, you'll be relaxing your body in the valley below, then ascending up into an altered state in the transport vehicle. When you're ready to transcend time and space, you will step through the portal to begin your exploration. You absolutely have the power and ability to expand your awareness in an altered state of consciousness. And the more you work with these techniques, the better you'll get at receiving subjective impressions. And now, in just a moment, I'm going to wake you up. On the count of five, you'll open your eyes and be wide awake, feeling as if you've just taken a nice, refreshing nap. Your head will be clear and you'll be fully alert, thinking and acting with calm self-assurance. Feeling glad to be alive and at peace with yourself, the world, and everyone in it. So let's come on up now. Number one, feel the lifeblood returning to your arms and legs, your body and mind. Number two, you're beginning to awaken, feeling balanced and harmonious. Number three, you're coming on up at peace with all life. Number four, recall the situation in the room. And number five, wide awake, wide awake. Open your eyes and feel good. Number five, wide awake, wide awake. Love.